Hi, Dirty Girl here, and I'm getting ready to show you what I listed yesterday, and then I'll show you what I'm shipping off today. Yesterday was a great day for sales, <laughs> quite a contrast from what I've had recently, so uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. First, these are the things I listed. I listed the two out of my three needle points. I listed these for $25 each. I love this one. It's so pretty. I think that's a um, magnolia blossom. I think that's what that is. And then I listed a couple of necklaces. Let's see. I listed these two together. Uh, I think I listed those for $15 for the two of them. They're um, resin beads. One of them is a one of, this one, this uh, monochrome one, kind of looks like granite or something. Um, I think this is from the 60s. And then this one I think is from the 80s. Uh, it's, a, it's a crafter made, but it's really pretty. I like the shapes of the beads and the colors and everything in there. It's got some kind of these amber colored lucite beads and they're eh, kind of neat. And then this one. Um, Enamel on copper, pretty cool. Uh, it looks, you know, the style of it is 1960s. I think it's a little later than that. It's also a, an artisan made piece. It's got a little ball shaped barrel clasp. Anyway, um, I think I listed that for 26 free shipping. It's in very nice condition, it's really fun. So uh, this is what I'm wrapping up to ship off today. Uh, I did already wrap up one of the items, which was a, a Mexican pot. It had kind of more of a Native American look, but uh, anyway, I sold that for $35. <gasps> There's Muffin. She's been complaining for some reason. Um, and then uh, this is the, the exciting sale. This sold for $225. It is the Mexican silver. These little ball decorations are copper and brass and uh, I think it's really interesting it's by a maker that is very collectible but nobody knows exactly who it is like everybody recognizes the mark but nobody knows the name behind it but it's really let's see if I can get it there it's just really a nice nicely done necklace and I did pay I really paid up on that. I paid 90 or or $100 for it, so I was glad I didn't have to sit on it for um, too long. I sold this little ring for, um, I think, 32 little turquoise Native American ring. And this silver and lapis necklace has kind of... Um, Indian field, let's see, what did I call it? Uh, Indian silver, lapis lazuli. I uh, sold that for 38. That sound you hear is my cat clawing at plastic. She has this thing for plastic bags. I have to hide them from her constantly or she'll shred them. Uh, in this last necklace is a Danecraft sterling silver. Look at this. Look how beautiful those links are. Just love it. That sold for $70. Some of the Danecraft silver can be very, very collectible. So, uh, anyway, that's it for today. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, July 10th. I don't know if the date's important. Uh, and um, I'm just going to show you real quick what I listed yesterday. And, well, one item that I haven't quite finished the listing yet, but I'll get it done this morning. Oh, hummingbird. Oh, gone now. Um, and then uh, and then I'm going to show you what I sold. I had a couple of really good sales yesterday. Maybe just one. Yeah, just one really good sale. Um, okay, so anyway. And this. These are the things that I listed yesterday. This is... um. 
made in India leather, tooled leather purse. This came from my sister-in-law. It's It's got signs of very light wear, but almost nothing. Like the strap is in really good condition. It's just a little tiny bit of, of wear right around these connectors here, but it's hardly anything. The inside's real clean. And I listed that, I believe, for hmm, 20-something dollars. And um, this is the thing that I haven't finished the listing for. It's this tiny little travel address book. It's like the kind, you know, that we had in the 50s and 60s with the, where you um, push the button, put the little lever on the letter, and it opens up to the right letter. I was always fascinated with the one that we had when I was a kid. I played with it a lot. Um, clean, never used. Amazing. And it has this St. Christopher and Our Lady of the Highway little impression on it. <laughs> so you know it's meant for travel. Um, I'm not sure what the price is going to be on that. I need to find out if it's some super desirable item. Um, I'm sorry, there's like all these trucks outside. I can't close the window, it's too hot. Um, so uh, this is a cute little Delfts, D-E-L-F-T-S, blue and white chicken egg cup. And I listed him for $15. And uh, then finally we get to this chest, the mystery chest with the hook on it. Um, after the last uh, video where I showed this chest, a couple of you, at least two people, suggested it might be um, a sailor's chest that would hang, and, and because it was hanging, it would keep it level and also save space. And that was such a good guess, but unfortunately it's not, it's not correct. What I found out is this is an Indian, as in from India, money box. And it's like a, a box that a shopkeeper would keep their money in. Now, I don't know exactly what the hook is for, but I did find, I had to search, and I spent, the reason I didn't finish my listings yesterday is I spent hours trying to figure out what this thing is, and I finally found pictures of it, of similar ones on, um, oh, I think it was on the Cherish website and um, figured there were some, some very similar ones, one, a couple of them with the hooks and everything. And that's what they were called. They were called Indian money boxes. Um, definitely 19th century, could even be 18th century, just because it looks so old. But anyway, um, prices on them are pretty hefty. So uh, I decided to put this on eBay, and I put it up for auction starting at $300. Um, and we'll see what happens. And uh, then in just a little bit, I'm going to show you what I sold. These are the items that I am shipping off this morning. There is this uh, Chinese pottery shard necklace set in sterling silver. And uh, that sold for 28 This is a Vera Newman silk long skinny scarf. Had a really pretty pink and black floral design, a little bit of green. Uh, sold that for 15 I guess because it was a really uh, a pretty small scarf. And then uh, sold this opal ring that's kind of in a stained glass window. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus better. It's a really pretty little ring, little pinky ring. And that sold for 28 And then I sold this little uh, Native American style. It probably is Native American, but I, I wasn't able to identify the artist. Just a little tiny, a little tiny pot. It was really cute. That sold for 15 And then the exciting sale, my NASA box property of NASA, probably from the 1960s, and I sold that for 150 I believe is free shipping, not free for the buyer because they're international. They had to pay another big hunk of change to get it shipped internationally, but um, 
Anyway, yeah. I was beginning to worry that maybe I'd made a mistake with this, but yay, it's old. Good morning. It is Thursday, and I don't know what the date is today, but uh, I'll show you the one lonely little sale I had yesterday. Oops, get my shadow out of the way. It's this really pretty purple and lavender moon glow and rhinestone necklace choker. And that sold for $28. And oh, it's going to France. Kind of neat. And I sold this St. Genesius sterling silver medal. And that sold for, well, 31.56 euros. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how much that is. Good morning. It is Monday morning, and I want to show you what I'm up to. The last few days, I have been dealing with my death piles of linens and clothing. This is mostly stuff that my sister-in-law has sent me, these big care, pa care packages that I've kind of been cherry picking and then leaving the rest because I've been too lazy to deal with it. So I'm dealing with it now and I haven't actually gotten a whole lot listed yet, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff washed, pressed, and photographed. So this is, I did list um, this silk Valerie Stevens slip and this really cool tablecloth, really big cross stitch. I, you just hardly ever see them that they're not white, you know, it's a kind of a gray green color, interesting color, and it's a great big tablecloth too. So <laughs> I've gotten those two listed. This is the pile that I've gotten pressed and photographed and ready to list. So that's where that is. Etsy's free shipping for orders over $35. I went through and adjusted prices for everything that was listed as over $35 so that I can 
uh, reclaim those shipping charges that I'm giving away. But something like this, this is a milk glass uh, hostess uh, luncheon set with plates and cups and it is extremely heavy. And the price is under $35. But, and I, 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 I'm not issuing any blame. I have no problem with somebody doing this. I totally understand. But the person who wanted this added a very inexpensive item to get the order over $35. And now she gets free shipping. And, of course, the price doesn't reflect the free shipping. So, oh, basically, I'm going to make about $5 on this, <laughs> on this set of dishes. So, I don't know. I'm considering just, if I'm going to do this, maybe just do every single thing in the entire shop free shipping. And, um... It's really going to hurt the international buyers on heavy items, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay, uh, in just a second I'm going to show you everything else that I am shipping off this morning. Okay, in addition to the uh, milk glass snack set, which uh, the price on it was $29, I'm probably going to spend about $20 to ship it. <laughs> so, uh, But the buyer also bought this little basket for $8, which... Um, frankly, this has been sitting around for quite a while. Wouldn't have sold it otherwise, probably. So, um, it's a cute little basket. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It all works out, I guess. Um, so let's see. Then I sold this, um, this is a Czech glass, art glass beaded necklace. It's very beautiful. It's got these little rose beads. Might be Venetian glass. I'm not really sure, but anyway. Um, that sold for $32, and, um, this is just, um, it's a set of crystal beads and a necklace, I mean, beads and, um, and earrings to match. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, however, I may be canceling this sale because the buyer asked me a question before she bought it, and I gave her the wrong answer. <laughs> I was relying on my memory, which is never a good idea. Um, after I pulled it from inventory, I looked at it and thought, ah, I told her the wrong thing. So, um, so I've got a convo into her right now, um, asking, telling her what the situation is and asking her if she still wants them or if she wants me to cancel the sale. So, they are pretty, though. Uh... I sold this brutalist ring with the little coral and pearl and sterling silver. Really quite a quite a large, nice piece. And uh, that one sold for fifty-four. Most of these are going to be free shipping, and I think probably going forward, just about everything in my shop is going to be free shipping because of this issue. <laughs> this is a little uh, jade necklace of a. A curling fish really pretty color of jade and that sold for 21 um, I sold this uh, Gino is the brand cameo it's a hand carved cameo necklace um, and that sold for 28 um, I sold this it's a set of patterns applique patterns. That sold from my other shop, which is Carolinux, carolinux.etsy.com. Uh, it's got, that's got my handmade and craft supplies. And uh, anyway, that sold for $10, I think. And let's see, did I get everything? This is it. Okay, I think that's everything I'm shipping off this morning. Uh, one more thing I got listed because I felt like I hadn't listed any jewelry in days, was this gorgeous turquoise ring that I just bought. That turquoise just almost glows. It's so bright. And I listed that for, I think, 59 free shipping. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. And uh, so, yeah, yesterday I had a bit of a disaster. I think I told you part of it that... Um, with the new Etsy shipping promotion thing that I subscribe to where any order over $35 is free shipping. This snack set, this glass snack set, but the shipping on it was like, 
I think it was $43 because it weighed a ton. It won't fit in a, a flat rate box. So I spent all of yesterday going through my thousand listings, finding the ones that were under $35 and heavy. Well, I tried to catch all the ones that were over a pound and uh, and adjust the prices accordingly and make them free. Just, but I'm trying to make just everything's going to be free shipping. So that was an expensive little lesson. <laughs> But yay, something else is gone. I sold it, so I guess whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the bright side. <laughs> so I'm um, just going to show you a couple of things that I listed yesterday. I only got two things listed yesterday because I was so busy doing this overhaul of all my listings. So anyway, so I sold this, um, this beautiful jacket. This is so pretty. I just love the color on this. It's really hard to photograph the color. It's hard to capture my photos. I'm not happy with it all, but I did the best I could. But anyway, it's a, well, well, it's a jacket. It's a Nehru style jacket. And I'm not doing a very good job showing it to you, but it's got these frog closures on it. And anyway, yeah, that's it. Beautiful thing. Made in Japan, probably 1960s. Beautiful. Be a nice, uh, formal uh, evening jacket. It's long, goes well, long goes to the knee. Um, it would be so cool. Anyway, uh, I listed that for mm -hmm. I think it was maybe seventy nine dollars free shipping. Everything's free shipping from now on. Everything, just just that's what it is. And then I listed this um, robe, which I discovered is from Dubai. But it's got this beautiful cross stitch on it. It's just a lovely thing. And it's it's kind of a neat, I guess they call it Bedouin style, maybe. Maybe I'm using that right. But it's like, a, it's a long, it is floor length that is very long. A man could wear this too. It is a pretty big size. Uh, it has no buttons or belt on it. But it's it might be silk. I don't know. It's a nice soft fabric and this needlework is so beautiful. So anyway, uh, I listed those two things and in just a minute I will show you what I'm shipping off today. I had one really good sale and a couple of other moderately good sales. Okay, so I got a little excited and packaged up some orders before I show them to you, but I'll, um, uh, I'll slip in some photos. Okay, so uh, I sold this beautiful carnelian and marcasite ring. I sold that for $48 to my lovely client in New Zealand. And then I sold um, a, a marine compass and a big copper housing. I sold that for $130 free shipping. The shipping's going to be, you know, considerable on it, but um, it won't be too bad. And then I sold a um, glass, Murano glass napkin holder, and I sold that for 32 free shipping. So that's it for that.